A handful of nail salons in our area are facing fines for safety and sanitation violations. The fines range from $500 to $1,000. It's a story we first told you about yesterday. Now many of you are asking, how do I know the salon I go to is clean? Creme 2's Dana Marie McNichol went to a premier salon to learn what you should be looking for. Not all spas are created equal. That's why I'm here at Spa Paradiso in Kendall Yards, where they've been voted Spokane's best spa several years in a row, but also have always had 100% on their inspections. So here are some of their tips to make sure you leave a salon not only feeling pretty, but also clean. During a relaxing spa manicure and pedicure, the last thing you want to worry about is sanitation. How a salon's tools are sanitized is the first indicator of a clean spa. In between all of our clients, um, all of our tools are soaked in barbicide. After each service, they're scrubbed down with barbicide, hot soapy water, and then sprayed with disinfectant, and then put right back in. Watch for how tools are stored. They need to come from a closed container. Even the nail file, by law, needs to be disinfected. We don't reuse any files. Even if it's just like a barely, just a little bit of a file, we toss them every time. If you go home with your file, that's a great indicator they aren't reusing files on clients. You walk into a busy nail salon and every spa is being used. This is your first red flag to pay attention. The filters in those spas too can harbor a lot of bacteria if they're not cleaned each and every time. Pamela Craig with the Glendow Academy says before you jump quickly into a spa after another client, know this. By law, Whirlpool spas must remain wet with disinfectant for 10 minutes before each client. You should be able to say to the salon, you know, do you, can I see your record of spa cleaning? They should be putting the time and the date when each spa is disinfected. Back at Spa Paradiso, after every spa pedicure, barbicide is flowing through the tub. If you just see them drain the tub and you don't see them fill it up with anything else, then that would be a red flag. With more than 100 nail salons in Washington failing their safety and sanitation inspections last year, you might consider paying closer attention to those red flags. Salons are not required to post their violations publicly, so again, a reminder to be extra vigilant during your appointment. Reporting in Kendall Yards, I'm Dana Marie McNichol, Crump 2 News.